The journey of self-discovery is a profound and often tumultuous endeavor. In the tumultuous sea of existence, individuals often find themselves adrift, seeking meaning, purpose, and an authentic understanding of who they truly are. Friedrich Nietzsche, the enigmatic German philosopher, invites us to embark on a philosophical odyssey unlike any other. In this video, we will explore Nietzsche's philosophy as a guide to discovering oneself. Through ten transformative steps, interwoven with profound insights from Nietzsche's vast body of work, we will navigate the intricate maze of human existence and unlock the mystery of self-discovery. Step 1. Embrace the will to power. Nietzsche introduced the concept of the will to power, an underlying force that animates human existence. He wrote, My formula for greatness in a human being is amor fati, that one wants nothing to be different, not forward, not backward, not in all eternity. Embracing the will to power means fully accepting the entirety of your life, including the past, present, and future. This radical acceptance forms the bedrock upon which self-discovery is built. Step 2. Challenge conventional morality. Nietzsche was a fierce critic of conventional morality, which he believed constrained individual freedom and expression. He urged us to question inherited values and beliefs. He wrote, You have your way, I have my way. As for the right way, the correct way, and the only way, it does not exist. To find oneself, it is imperative to critically examine the moral and societal constructs that have shaped one's identity. Step 3. Embrace the Eternal Recurrence One of Nietzsche's most challenging concepts is the eternal recurrence, a thought experiment that compels us to live each moment as if it would repeat infinitely. He wrote, What if some day or night a demon were to steal after you into your loneliest loneliness and say to you, this life as you now live it, and have lived it, you will have to live once more, and innumerable times more. Embracing this concept encourages us to live authentically and make choices that resonate with our true selves. Step 4. Cultivate Self-Overcoming Nietzsche believed in the concept of self-overcoming as a means of personal growth and transformation. He wrote, You must be ready to burn yourself in your own flame. How could you rise anew if you have not first become ashes? Self-overcoming involves confronting one's limitations, fears and weaknesses, striving relentlessly to transcend them. It is through these challenges and adversities that we discover our true potential. Step 5. Embrace Individuality Nietzsche celebrated individuality and the uniqueness of each person. He wrote, The individual has always had to struggle to keep from being overwhelmed by the tribe. If you try it, you will be lonely often and sometimes frightened. But no price is too high to pay for the privilege of owning yourself. To find oneself, it is essential to embrace one's individuality fully and resist the pressures to conform to societal norms and expectations. Step 6. Face the Abyss Nietzsche often referred to the abyss, a metaphor for the existential challenges and uncertainties of life. He wrote, Whoever fights monsters should see to it that in the process he does not become a monster. And if you gaze long enough into an abyss, the abyss will gaze back into you. Facing the abyss means confronting one's deepest fears, insecurities and uncertainties. It is through this confrontation 
that one can begin to unravel the layers of their true self. Step 7. Create your values. Nietzsche advocated for the creation of personal values, rather than relying on external moral codes. He wrote, I teach you the overman. Man is something that shall be overcome. What have you done to overcome him? To find oneself. It is essential to actively engage in the process of defining one's own values and principles, independent of societal norms and conventions. Step 8. Embrace Amor Fati. Nietzsche coined the term Amor Fati, which translates to the love of fate. He encouraged us to accept and even love the events of our lives, both positive and negative. He wrote, My formula for greatness in a human being is Amor Fati, that one wants nothing to be different, not forward, not backward, not in all eternity. Embracing Amor Fati allows one to find meaning and purpose in every experience, no matter how challenging or seemingly insignificant. Step 9. Seek out the Dionysian. Nietzsche contrasted the Apollonian and Dionysian aspects of human nature, with the latter representing a primal and unrestrained creativity. He wrote, Yes, a long era of the Dionysian dithyramb speaks out of us, a craving for the ancient, incomparable festival for the event that throws the hair into disarray. To find oneself, it is crucial to tap into the inner Dionysian spirit, embracing creativity, spontaneity, and the profound sense of life's mysteries. Step 10. Live with intensity. Nietzsche believed in living life with intensity and passion. He wrote, I want to know if you can see beauty even when it's not pretty every day, and if you can source your own life from its presence. To discover oneself fully, one must engage with life deeply and authentically, savoring each moment and infusing it with their unique essence. One compelling example of living with intensity is exemplified through the life and work of Vincent van Gogh, the renowned Dutch post-impressionist painter. Van Gogh's artistic journey embodies Nietzsche's concept of living with passion and fervor as he channeled his intense emotions and fervent spirit into his vibrant and emotionally charged artworks. Van Gogh's artistic career was marked by an unwavering dedication to his craft as he sought to capture the essence of the world around him through his unique perspective and vibrant color palette. Despite facing numerous personal challenges and struggles, including battles with mental illness and social isolation, Van Gogh remained dedicated to expressing his innermost emotions and experiences through his artwork. His intense passion and fervor for art allowed him to create masterpieces that continue to captivate audiences worldwide, transcending the limitations of time and space. One of Van Gogh's most iconic works, Starry Night, vividly encapsulates his intense and emotive style as he depicted a swirling night sky, filled with luminous stars and a tranquil village below. Through his bold and expressive brushstrokes, Van Gogh conveyed a profound sense of emotional depth and intensity, allowing viewers to immerse themselves in the vivid and dynamic world he created. The intense emotions and fervent spirit that permeate Van Gogh's artwork reflect Nietzsche's philosophy on living with intensity, as he channeled his innermost passions and emotions into his creative expressions, transcending the limitations of the mundane and ordinary to reach the sublime heights of artistic brilliance. Friedrich Nietzsche's philosophy 
offers a profound and unconventional path to self-discovery. Through the 10 steps outlined above, guided by Nietzsche's profound insights, individuals can embark on a transformative journey to find themselves. Nietzsche's philosophy challenges us to embrace our individuality, question societal norms, and live authentically. As Nietzsche himself wrote, become who you are. In doing so, we can unlock the depths of our true selves and find meaning in the enigmatic journey of life, transcending the limitations of conventional existence and boldly stepping into the realm of self-realization. This marks our first video in a series of videos centered around the wisdom of Friedrich Nietzsche. You might want to explore and draw inspiration from Marcus Aurelius's, Seneca's, Sigmund Freud, Carl Jung's, and Lao Tzu's teachings about building self-discipline, managing your time, building healthy relationships, and realizing your true potential. The links to these videos are below in the description.